Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. So this is the second message in this place called India. We're in a beautiful park surrounded by nature. The buildings are here in honor of those who've passed, who made important contributions to the area. Dear ones, yesterday I began a teaching. It was cryptic, it was metaphoric, and that's on purpose. For now we start to fill in the blanks in another short message that will be about the area that you're in and the differences between this area and other places on the planet. I'm going to give a couple of revelations in this day that I will repeat tomorrow for those in the seminars that are locals to the area whom I wish to, to have hear this. But we're going to repeat and review the metaphor of the golden sphere. You're sitting on it. This pure golden globe or sphere is the metaphor for pure wisdom of spirit. The highest wisdom that is possible on the planet that is connected to the creative source of the universe. The region has this. And in review, the region is not the country, for it extends to a great length. In fact, it is one-sixth of the land mass of the planet. We'll have the attributes of the pure gold underneath it, the metaphor of wisdom. I would like to give you a couple of examples right now of how you personally would be able to tap in to the wisdom, for you see, it is at your feet right now. It is no accident that you sit in that place, in a region that is responsible for the highest and first spirituality of the planet. Outside of Lemuria, this is the oldest that would have this kind of attribute of the wisdom that is personal. We'll give you more of that tomorrow. For the individual who is here, I give this information. And for those listening, there are three ways to tap in to this purity of wisdom. The first thing is this. You have to want it. Free choice is always the way of it. You could be surrounded with it. You could watch it. You could see it in its pureness. And unless you're interested, it means nothing. You could stand in front of the holiest of holy, one who is doing miracles, then one which is changing physics, which is possible in this place. And yet, unless you are interested, it means nothing. The beauty of this is the free choice of the individual. There are three ways to tap into this. Let me tell you what they are. The first is this. <laughs> you feel it because you have a piece of gold inside you that matches the gold that is in the sphere. This is the piece of wisdom, the piece of God that every single human being is born with and can activate it or feel it if they choose or not. So inside you, there is a resonance to the creative system. And that is here. So some of you, as you progress on the trip, will begin to resonate not to the culture, dear ones, not to the city or the area, but to the gold beneath your feet, the metaphor of the wisdom. The one piece that you have will resonate to the whole, and you will realize for the first time that perhaps you're closer to the source than you've ever been before. 
Number two, it's in your Akash. Now, this is not necessarily for all of you. Many of you have repeated the lifetimes that you've had over and over in your culture, and this culture would not necessarily be remembered, or even one of them. Many of you are more apt to remember Lemuria than this one, unless you spent a lot of time here. But that is the second one. If it is in your Akash, you will feel it, you will know it, and you will move with it. Number three, you meet somebody, someone, man or woman, who helps you connect the pieces of gold. In other words, a teacher who will then show you how the two pieces are connected, your piece of the Creator to the land that you sit in, to the area that is precious and beautiful and filled with the wisdom of literally the creative source. You sit in a special, special place. Those are the three ways that you can connect to that which is the region with the gold, with the purity, with the wisdom, with the teaching of peace inside, with the oneness which comes from here. Did you see the temple you visited yesterday one of the newest spiritual systems on the planet, the one that perhaps would emulate the shift of the planet. And what it teaches is oneness. This comes from here, the idea that you could put all of the belief systems together in a commonality of thought and let the rules be the rules, but the commonality is the love of God. And you saw it here. It emanated from here. The very origin of the thought of it and the creation of it and those who put it together were here. It came from the golden globe of wisdom. Now I want to reveal to you a different attribute of this area that no other place on the planet has. This golden globe, did you notice I called it a sphere. It's a puzzle. It's not a grid. It's not a grid. It's different. Dear ones, the places we have taken you before, which we have revealed to you, had a great deal to do with the earth and the grid system. You went to the place called Ireland, which is much like the Bermuda Triangle, in that the, the Actual energies, some of whom you count on to literally exist, were missing in Ireland, allowing things to be there that are in no place on the planet. But this is location specific. If you go to Ireland and you see perhaps a little people, a little person, that is an, not an imaginary thing, but an energy that physically is present and that your mind interprets it, you will not then carry that ability home. Perhaps some of you are ahead of me. Dear ones, when you connect to the wisdom, the gold, the purity of this land, it goes and stays and travels with you. You take it away. That's not a grid. That's a resource. So if any of you are changed by this trip and have revelations, not that you've been here, but there is something here that is magic, perhaps, or there's something here which resounds to you, perhaps. Perhaps a healing would even occur because of the revelation of the pieces coming together in your life. This you take home. This golden sphere of this region is a resource for the planet. Unlike any other place on the planet, you find what you find and you're able then to take it with you and let it grow. Now I give you the second piece that will help you to understand why yesterday I told you about the Hindu man in Lemuria, the one who started the temple in the place called Kauai. Dear ones, he has created something 
and I'm going to explain it. For he took the piece of gold that was wise and put it in that which was the original creative source of the planet, that which is the small continent of Mu, La Muria, which became the Hawaiian Islands. And in doing that, there was a line of energy drawn from the Kauai area to this area because he took this which was precious and pure and in him which was pure he took it there now here is information that will then coordinate what, what I've told you before many of you have studied ley lines we have told you before that it is not what you think first of all they're not necessarily straight isn't it interesting today when you see a schematic of an airline trip, that is to say the track that it follows from one place in the globe to another, you would expect a straight line. It is an arc instead. This ought to give you a hint of what I speak. Ley lines are not always straight lines from one place to another. So where they are may be deceiving. But there are two things we told you which those who study ley lines are not ready to hear. Number one, they are created by human consciousness. They are not part of Gaia. They are part of the Gaia human relationship. Number two, they're not necessarily on the surface of the earth. There is a gold strand of energy called a ley line, if you wish, through the earth from here to Kauai and that is what this Hindu master did he knew he had to it is the reason he went to Kauai it is the reason there is a temple emulating this in this faraway place literally through the earth the dirt of the earth there is this magic gold strand that connects this land to the island that he lives and those who ascended him are on. Therefore, what I am telling you is that this place carries something that is entirely and completely different from anything and any place you have ever been before. Not a grid, not just an energy, but a purity of teaching that you can use as a resource, one that goes with you wherever you go. If you're getting the picture, dear ones, wherever you go, you can draw strands of where you are back to this energy and feel again the purity of peace between the cells, of the oneness of spirit that this place is renowned for and will continue to be. And the ancients knew it, and those who live here know it as well. And we say to you, in closing, the God in you greets the God in others and greets that which is the golden sphere. The purity is here for you to sense completely as you walk this place. O oh, sensitive one, namaste. And so it is.